DHG, this is Operation Flashpoint. Dragon Rising. Um, I do believe I'm going to have to do single mission here since I played through some of these. What was the last one I was on? Okay, last one I did was Bleeding Edge. So here's looking for... I'm assuming that's Louise? Louis? I don't know. This is a spec ops mission where you try to retrieve some, they say hostages, but I thought there were more POWs. And then you ought to extract with them. It sounds really easy, but with most things in this game, it's not that simple. There is supposed to be a way to do this mission without being detected, but I'm kind of a clunky person. So yeah, I'm going to get noticed. And there's a lot of spec ops teams looking for you roaming the area becomes quite tricky Saber two, this is Saber. Stand by for if you like my content do subscribe and if you feel like donating to keep my channel alive since I'm gonna be cutting back on recording drastically since this doesn't make me a penny and it, in fact it costs me money if you want to donate there's a I tried to create a link but the link doesn't work so it's just uh, a, a web address from my Patreon page. For some reason, copying and pasting web addresses lately hasn't been creating hyperlinks. Oh, I've got to get used to the controls again. I haven't played this in like a week. Got a new job. I haven't been recording. Okay, now first things first. I gotta kill this guy. Because I need his gun. Might seem a bit harsh, but yeah, that thing's gonna come in handy, and he's just gonna respawn at the next checkpoint anyway. So, what else? MP5. I haven't used that yet. Does this thing have grenades? Yeah, it does. Okay, I'm keeping this. These guys are close. Two targets. Looks like a sniper team. Yeah, that shiny sniper rifle's not very good. The Chinese kind of did the same thing that the Russians did for a while and used one weapons platform for pretty much all their weapons. Us Americans did that to some extent with the AR platform. The Russians did it with the AK. And the, I don't know what the Chinese platform is called, and I'm not even sure how it worked out for them. But ours uses various calibers. All the Chinese stuff uses the same 5.8 by 42 millimeter, which I'm kind of curious how their marksman round, which is marksman uh, rifles, generally have a bit more power, bigger cartridges, more propellant behind them. I don't know how that would work out. I read up about it, and it's supposed to be a, what they consider the heavy round, but it's still the same dimensions. The ammo is supposed to be interchangeable between all platforms, so I'm kind of wondering how they can make a designated marksman rifle with the same cartridge that's going to be used in like uh, their assault rifle version of it. Because the 556 by 45 which is the intermediate range or intermediate rifle cartridge that the M16, M4, all so those uses. It's good for a lot of things, but sniping ain't one of them. You have eyes on objective. Over. Saber 2, this is Saber. It appears POWs have armed themselves. Status unknown at this time. Over. 
Saber, this is Saber 2. Copy that. Approaching objective area now. Over. Oh, there's a Chinaman. He's dead. I told you I needed this gun. Where are you? Probably hiding behind some rocks. Okay, since I can't see you, I'm just gonna blow you up. That should do it. Yep, the tick disappeared. He's dead. Who else threw a grenade? Saber 2, this is Saber. Good work. Wait one. Shit, it's good to see you. Not a problem. You didn't seem to need much saving anyway. We're not out of this yet. Follow my lead and stay low. A sweat. Yeah, you see my sniper's Saber. back. Move rapidly to LZ Charlie. Due north of your position on the far side of the mountain range. I'll copy over. There he is. Saber, this is Saber 2. Solid copy on all. Interrogative. How far will we be moving the POWs on foot? Over. Really, really far. distance on foot is two clicks. There are no available LZs due to proximity of enemy strong points at radio station, naval base, and Scoji village. How copy? Saber, this is Saber 2. Solid copy on all. Moving to LZ now. Out. Marines, solid copy. Here on foot. Couldn't be more solid. Two clicks north, and we're behind enemy lines. We're going to need to keep moving at all times and avoid contact wherever possible. Move out. Extraction points two kilometers away. And these dumbasses are shooting at the helicopter. How copy? Saber 2, this is Saber. Solid copy. Recommend you evade enemy and head for the end of the valley. Saber out. Recommend you evade enemy while these guys just like shoot at the first helicopter they see. They're gonna be dropping off a special forces team down here. I need to get eyes on that drop location, like right now. Now let me get to a spot where I can pick them off one by one. Alright, this should be good. Goddamn grass. Always in the way. Alright, drop that Spec Ops team off right there. Spec Ops, 200 meters east. Okay, that got their attention. Target, Spec Ops, is eliminated. Aim's not very steady. Looks like part of the team went to try to flank me. Where are these bullets landing? There we go. Is there a third one? Yeah, there's one. He just took a 308 by 51 millimeter round right in the hip. Wait, did I just say three? Yeah, I did. My bad. 7.62 by 51 millimeter. So the military version of the civilian 308. Oddly enough, the 308 has more power behind it. Unlike the 556 and the 223. Same concept, civilian version, military version, but the military version of that has more power. You're dead Chinaman. I'm like the Mongol horde. Uh, let me look at the map here. I wonder if I could just go straight across or maybe I can't get over top of these mountains. Because this is where you exfil. White Fang Complex. I could try going over the mountains. I think they're a little too... steep. I need to tell them to fire, fire on my lead again, since I already shot.
Last time I played through this, just to get a feel for this level, I went from the game designated checkpoints one by one, and I ran into a lot of ambushes and resistance, so I'm going to try to go straight for it. Where's the POWs? There's right, there's supposed to be four of them. Did I lose one already? No, he's just back there, digging around. Whatever gets these douchebags to safety. Huffing it up this gigantic mountain. Oh, I thought they were soldiers down there. They're tree stumps. Last time I played through this, there was quite a few ambushes that happened from the top of these mountains. Spec Ops, 50 meters. Oh shit. Target. I gotta keep firing. Follow me. Affirmative. Fire in the hole! Stabilize. Follow me. Affirmative. Okay, I heard one of my guys say fire in the hole, which made me think he threw a grenade. Did he just Yeah, he did. Oh my god. Oh, Okay, if you've watched the previous episodes of this, you'd know that I have a problem with the AI in this game. Because they've sunk rockets into my back like three times now, but now they're chucking grenades at my feet. Hmm. I don't feel bad about killing that guy and taking his rifle. In fact, I think I might be better off just killing the entire team. Not a problem. You didn't seem to need much saving anyway. We're not out of this yet. Follow my lead and stay low. No sweat. Okay, Chamber, right over the mountain. Chamber. Move rapidly to LZ Charlie. Due north of your position on the far side of the mountain range. I'll copy, over. Saber, this is Saber 2. Solid copy on all. Interrogative. How far will we be moving the POWs on foot? Over. Saber 2, this is Saber. Estimated distance on foot is Interrogative. Two my no stinky poo poo go foo foo. Due to proximity of enemy strong points at radio station, naval base, and Skoji village. How copy? Saber, this is Saber 2. Solid copy on all. Moving to LZ now. Out. I mean, your AI teammates are great shots. They're great at taking out the enemy, but they just like to sink a rocket into your back every now and then or throw a grenade at your feet. They're quite unpredictable. Maybe they're just crazy like that. Maybe the dev team designed them that way, like, I know how we control the players. That being said, they're still better than the AI in Brothers in Arms Earned in Blood. I don't remember Brothers in Arms Road to Hill 30 or Brothers in Arms Hell's Highway. I don't remember either of those two games having horrible AI, but Brothers in Arms Earned in Blood, the AI was stupid. Like, they were worthless bad. Like I said, these guys can, they shoot back and they kill the enemies. Brothers in Arms do no such thing. You tell them to assault a position, they all get killed. Here, at least they're competent at that. As long as they're not putting a rocket in your back. Or throwing a grenade at your feet, you know. Tell them to assault a building, they stand outside of it, though. Oh, yeah. Fire on my lead. Affirmative. Uh, 
I hope you boys enjoy the fresh mountain air. Operation Flashpoint. Dragon Rising. Walking Simulator. I can't believe Hideo Kojima actually made a walking simulator and made it fun. I enjoyed playing through Death Stranding. I was really, really, really curious about how he could make a game based on delivering packages from point A to point B and making compelling to play, but he pulled it off. Don't ever doubt Hideo Kojima. Too bad he doesn't have the rights to the Metal Gear series anymore. Maybe Konami will do the right thing in the future and sell him that IP back if he wants it. I don't know if he does. I would love to see another Metal Gear game made by him. Because I don't think him and Konami are ever going to mend fences. Transport Hilo, 300 meters southeast. They were set up to make a sequel that I was looking forward to so badly. And due to the beef between the two entities, it never came out. That was Silent Hills. Konami's making a bunch of new Silent Hill games now, but... Only God knows if they're going to be any good or not. I have one on my PS5 right now, but I haven't played through it yet. To say that I don't really trust Team Bloober with the Silent Hill 2 remake would be an understatement. That looks like an ambush spot. But last time I played through here and I actually used the checkpoints that the game gives me, there was no ambush right there. From what I remember, there was one very close to it, but there was no one waiting right there. I was going to say, can my character run yet? What is that? Nothing. Kind of looks like somebody's standing there. Maybe I'm seeing things. Actually, I should probably bust out this rifle. 7.62 by 51 millimeter. Designed to replace the 30-06. Not quite as powerful as the 30-06, but smaller. Can carry more ammo. That's always a plus. I just watched a video not that long ago where someone estimated how much ammunition a soldier, a American GI in World War II could carry, and it was only like 200 rounds of ammunition, maybe 250 max. I thought, my god, are you serious? Guys going into combat now sometimes carry four or 500 rounds. Transport Hilo, 500 meters north. Okay, now I need to find a good spot to lay down up here and scout this area. I can get some good long distance headshots in at this range. As soon as I Saber, find a nice spot. Two. We have eyes on LZ. Oh, looks this like looks the good. Just inserted troops at that location. Over. Saber 2, this is Saber. Copy that. Ensure LZ is clear before Trident makes their approach. Out. I plan on picking off every single enemy. Okay, the only thing I don't like about this spot is that tree obscures my vision from right the enemies that are bound to go into those buildings. North. They're moving around like they know something's up. I don't like that. Saber 2, 
I thought that was the squad of enemies. Shut the fuck up. Out. God. Did you guys ever hear of a lawnmower? Rifleman, 400 meters north. Last time I did this, some of them were standing stationary. Now they're all moving. Hopefully they'll hit the deck once I fire one off. Yep. Target, support gunner, is eliminated. Okay, two dots down. Transport helo, 400 meters. Down. Little too far. Rifleman, 300 meters north. Saber 2, this is Saber. Hydra, ETA, one mic, out. Target, rifle. Shot him in the foot eliminated. and he died. <laughs> Need that guy to hit the deck so I can hit him. Rifleman, 300 meters north. Target, there we go. Rifleman is eliminated. Right in the side. That's one of the weirdest looking reload animations I've ever seen. Okay. There's gotta be more. Saber 2, this is Saber. Be advised. Hydra is now in a holding pattern until LZ is clear. Out. We're gonna have company any minute now. PLA are sending reinforcements. Let's clear this LZ now. We do not want to be here when that convoy shows up. No, we don't. So let's make like a tree and get the fuck out of here. You don't need these. Okay, I don't see anything. Saber 2, this is Saber. Status on LZ, over. Saber, this is Saber 2. LZ is still hot at this time. Repeat. Hostile still in area of LZ. Saber 2, out. Let me bust out the he grenades. A little HE high explosive He Man grenades. But where are the hostiles? Enter that position. Yes, and actually enter it this time. Oh, there's people here. Yeah, I thought they'd be in this building. Be advised, we have a POW down. Repeat, a POW is down. Saber, this is Saber 2. Be advised, we have a POW down. Repeat, a POW is down. Saber, this is Saber 2. We have cleared the LZ. Requesting immediate extraction. Over. Saber 2, this is Saber. Affirmative. Hydra is inbound now. Out. Well, last time I lost to, uh... That's the Chicom from Black Ops 2. That's uh, QCQ. She's CQC. <laughs> they reversed it. It's weird to say. Last time I lost two of the prisoners. Alright, get your ass over here. Are they Chinese? No. Blow it all up. There's reasons. That's why. Oh, 
throw, throw a grenade over here, stick one on that dude's head. I'd fail the mission, I've done that before. You want rescued or not? Oh, looks like I lost two POWs. Oh well. Well, two of them didn't make it out, but I still passed the mission, so whatever.